When we have an open tube of length L, the wavelength of the nth harmonic is given by this equation. Lambda sub n is 2L over n, where n is any positive integer. This is the exact same equation for the wavelength of the nth harmonic with a string. So we've met that equation actually previously. For a closed tube, a closed tube, as you can see from the picture, is closed at one end and open at the other. Open tubes are open at both ends. A closed tube is closed at one end. And if the length of the tube is L, then the wavelength of the nth harmonic of a closed tube is given by this relation, 4L over N instead of 2L over N. There are reasons for this statement in the lower right. I'm not going to go into it, but it turns out that in closed tubes only the odd harmonics are present. The even harmonics are not present. And the reason for that is there would be nodes at the opening of a closed tube if the even harmonics were present. So, in case you're wondering what this picture is in the upper left, that's called a pan flute. This artist named Zamfir is a master of the pan flute. And there's Peter Pan holding a pan flute. So let's do an example problem. Let's find the fundamental frequency for an open tube of length 1.24 meters. The air temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. So on the right we have our model of an open tube of length 1.24 meters. The equation governing the wavelengths of waves in that tube is lambda sub n is 2L over n. The fundamental means the first harmonic. That is, the fundamental means n equals 1. So this equation boils down to lambda sub 1 is equal to 2L, which turns out to be 2.48 meters. Then we're going to use the wave speed equation, and remember that wave speed equation is going to work for any of our harmonics. Here we're interested in the first harmonic. This fundamental frequency is what we need to calculate. The denominator we know, that's 2.48 meters, but the numerator, the speed of the sound wave isn't given in the problem. But in an earlier lesson we gave an empirical relation for the speed of sound in air of a particular Celsius temperature. And here is that equation 331 plus 0.6 T. Well the temperature here in Celsius is 20 degrees Celsius so that tells us that the speed of sound through this tube in that temperature air will be about 343 meters per second. Now we know the numerator and the denominator, and we get 138 hertz. Let's do the same problem, except this time we'll have the tube closed. The governing equation is now 4L over N instead of 2L over N. So the fundamental wavelength will be 4 times 1.24 meters, which turns out to be 4.96 meters. The air temperature is still the same, so 343 meters per second. That applies here as well. So when we close this tube, the fundamental frequency changes. In particular, if you look back, you can see that it is half of the fundamental frequency for when the tube is open. It turns out when you double or halve the frequency, that is a pitch change of one octave. So if we hear these different pitches, those represent three octaves. One octave between 100 and 200, a second octave between 2 and 400, and a third octave between 4 and 800. Open tubes are open at both ends. Closed tubes are open at one end only and closed at the other. We find the wavelength of various harmonics using these equations for open tubes and closed tubes. Notice for an open tube all positive harmonics are applicable. For closed tubes 
only the odd harmonics. The differences above are derived from the observation that, in tubes, nodes are always formed at closed ends. Antinodes are always formed at open ends.